Okay, it is time to go through the inquiry lab on area of irregular figures. Now, irregular means just kind of not normal, not nice squares, not nice rectangles. They're usually going to be kind of weird. And guess what? In the real world, most shapes are kind of irregular, so yeah, this is a good skill to know. So, the inquiry question, how can you estimate the area of an irregular figure? And because irregular figures aren't perfect, you won't have an exact answer, so it is kind of an estimate. So, reading the question, it says the Ramirez family is putting a koi pond in their backyard. They need to estimate the area of the pond to know how many fish they can put in the pond. A scale drawing of the pond is shown below. In the drawing, each square foot represents one, or each square represents one square foot. All right, so... Going through here, step one, it says shade and count the number of whole squares. Step two says estimate the number of whole squares covered by partial squares. So I'm going to show you what that means. So first thing, I'm going to show you counting the whole squares. They are the ones that are exactly full squares. So if I do that, I'm going to count those first. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I know they weren't perfect, but they're close enough. Uh, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I got 35 whole squares. Now remember, if you get something a little bit off, it's not a big deal. So I'm going to write that 35 there. And now here's what they mean about step two, where it says estimate the number of a whole square is covered by partial squares. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to basically kind of look at these little pieces here. And I'm going to try to put pieces together that would equal a whole. So I will show you what I am talking about. Let me get my pen on. Okay. So I'm going to go through here. I'm going to, as I count them, I'm going to mark them. So I'm going to start with these four little pieces down here. To me, those four pieces look like if you put them together, you'd get one piece. So I'm going to keep tra track with tallies over here. So that looks like one. This, These here look like three of them together would be a piece. Um, now, this piece is almost a full piece, but it's, miss it's missing that corner here. So I'm actually going to look for something with a corner like, I don't know, maybe right here. So I might say those two things... Here and here could be a piece. So I have this one marked and that one marked. Okay. And this one here is about half. And I'd say, I don't know, that one's about half. So that's about four. This one is most of one. And this one is a little bit. So maybe that's an, another hole. Okay. These two look like two halves. So I'll count those as a hole. Um, that's most of a piece. And... I'm going to match that with this part right there. That's another one. Um, this looks like about half. Let me put it with that to get another one. And I'm going to put these last. I'll switch to blue so it's easier to see. This one, this one, this. Um, even those little pieces there. I think they can make about a hole if you put them together. So kind of doing that. Remember, this. that's not a perfect science, but I'm putting the better as best as I can. Um, I have nine holes that I got from putting all those partial pieces together. So I'm going to write that down here. Then it says add your answers from step one and step two. There were 35 that were complete plus nine that I kind of estimated and that's 44. So my area is about 44 square feet. Now if you do this you might get something different. You might have 40, you might have 46, but this is a way to just get some kind of estimate. Going on to the next page, I'm going to show you another trick when you're not dealing with grid paper to estimate um, the area of a figure. So let's check out Investigation 2 and the state of Idaho. So this says, another way to estimate the area of an irregular figure is to separate the figure into simpler shapes. Then find the sum of these areas. So take a look at the state of Idaho, which is a really weird looking shape. If we wanted to find the area, okay, so they're giving us some dimensions here. So it's 481 miles from north to south and 300 miles this way. So if you notice here with Idaho, it kind of looks like a rectangle at the bottom. See this rectangle here? And a triangle at the top. So if you can find the area of those two figures and 
add, add them together, you'll get a good approximate area of Idaho. So, first off, let me look at the rectangle here. So, let me square in blue. I see the rectangle is 300 miles wide by 170 miles high. And 300 times 170 is 51,000. So that rectangular bottom is about 51,000 square miles. Now when I look at the top part, this triangle here. Now remember for triangles, it's half times base times height. So I'm going to need the base and the height of the triangle. So if I look here, remember this whole bottom is 300. So that means from here to here is 300. But we only want the red part. So if we take 300 and subtract this 100 away, we'll be left with 200 for right there. So the base of our triangle is 200 miles times the height of our triangle. Okay, so check this out. Remember, this whole side is 481, but we don't need 170 of it. So if we take 481, remember this blue part is 170, and subtract 170 from it. So let me think here. 481 minus 100 is 381. Minus 70 is 321. That leaves us with this part here, about 321 miles. So um, let me zoom in here. So that gives me half times 200 times, what did I say, 321? I forget. Okay. And if I type that in, I should get, let me think, 32,100 miles, uh, square miles. So if the triangle is about that many square miles and the rectangle is about that many square miles, the last thing I have to do is add those together. And if I add those together, let me come down here in step three. So I had 51,000 miles plus 31,100 miles. Um, add those together, I should get 82,100 um, square miles, which is our answer here. So that's how you can kind of change, uh, find simpler shapes in order to find an area of a figure. So let us go down to our collaborate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you try one. Now two you're going to have to do all by yourself and when you turn this in I'm going to be checking to see if you're somewhat close. So in one I'm going to tell you the steps I want you to do. The first thing I want you to do is you are going to add up all the whole or find a count up all the whole squares. So figure out all the whole squares and write that number down. Remember the whole ones are the ones like this one here that is an entire whole square. Then you're going to find all the parts. Now remember, you have to be, when you're putting the parts together, you might, for example, um, see these two parts here? They each look like about half, so those two can combine to be one. And remember how I kept track of them using tally marks as I counted them and marked them off. It's very important that you mark them off. All right, then when you get your whole, put your parts together and add them up, and you should get your approximate area. Now, the goal is to see if we are within a couple um, a couple numbers apart. So I want you to try, pause the video, try one, um, then restart it and see if you got the same thing as me. Go. All right, let's see how you did. So let me go through. I'm going to count the holes. I'm going to start up here. I see one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, I'm not counting that, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, no, 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 27, 28, and I got 28 holes. Now I'm going to go through and I'm going to kind of estimate these parts together. So I see kind of this one kind of with this piece here is kind of like one. And then I see maybe this and this are like one. This is almost a hole, so if I kind of put it with this little piece there, I get one. This looks like about half right there. 
I'll put that together with this to get another hole. Um, 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 let's see. I'm going to go through, switch the blue, make it easier to see. So these two halves make a hole. These two halves make a hole. This one looks like about half here. Put it with that one. That probably makes a hole. And let's see. This one, put it together with this one down here is about a hole. And I don't know. Let's see, I'd say this one and this one here. Oops, sorry. Not that one. That one. Make a hole. And I can probably count that one as a hole. So all together, I'm going to get about 10 holes by adding up those parts. Remember, you might not have the same thing as me. And I've probably gotten different answers every time I've done this. So I'm going to combine these two together, and I'm going to get about 38 square units. Now, I would pretty much say, if you had anywhere from, say, 30, I don't know, 34 to 42 square units as your answer, you're probably safe. Um, so... Don't stress if you weren't exactly on. Now, in two, you're going to do this one completely on your own. And then I'll be looking at that when you hand it in. So check that out. And let's go to the next page so you don't have to watch more boring videos. Okay. Now, these are a lot like the one that we did of Idaho before. So here's what we're going to do. I am going to eliminate a couple that you do not have to do. Don't tell anyone I did this, though. Because then they'll be mad. All right, so I'm going to eliminate, let's say, don't do that plane because that one looks like a pain in the butt. I would say don't do that watch and don't do that bone. Um, but the rest of them we're going to kind of work on. So here is my plan with you. I'm going to do like the Oklahoma one and the shoe one with you guys. And you are going to do the heart one and the ice cream cone one and the key one on your own um, to be checked for when you turn it in. All right, are you ready? Let us start with Oklahoma. And Oklahoma is one state I would not want to live in. Too many tornadoes, and it's hot and dry, and there's probably scorpions and all sorts of gross things. Anyway, when you look at Oklahoma, it kind of looks like one big rectangle. You could also say that's kind of a trapezoid, but I don't know. Maybe we'll go with rectangle. I don't know. We'll figure that one out. And this looks like a little skinny rectangle. So... I'm actually thinking if I were doing this, why would you make it a trapezoid? That's so much harder. Oh, well, let's figure it out. So um, let's start with this nice little easy rectangle here. So first thing, since it's a rectangle, we just have to do length, um, length times width. And I've got a nice 35 times a nice 170. And if you do 35 times 170... And yes, you could use your calculator, which I'm getting out now. Let's see, 35, oh, come on, calculator clear. 35 times 170 is 5,950. So for that rectangle, I have 5,950 square miles. But now I'm going to focus on the bigger one, which is a trapezoid, but will be wild and crazy and find the trapezoid area anyway. So let me get a little bit of room here. Okay, so remember the formula for area of a trapezoid. Area of a trapezoid is half times the height times base 1 plus base 2. So let us start here with finding the bases and the heights. So half times the height times base 1 plus base 2. Okay, so here's what I notice. These are the parallel bases, so there and there are the bases. That means the distance between them is the height, and it has to be at a right angle. This one is slanted, so we're going to ignore that 305. So that means my bases are 130 and 225. Doesn't matter which one is which. Okay, so that should be 130. My height is how far apart they are, which is 290. So then, all you got to do is type that in. Half times 290, left parentheses, 225 plus 130, right parentheses. And if you do that, I'm going to pause it and type it in. Okay, so if you type all that junk in, you should get 51,475 square miles. So, remember, the big rectangle is that. 
the smaller rectangle is that. If you add those together, you should get 57,425 square miles. All right, so that's kind of how you did the Oklahoma one there. Remember, if you did Oklahoma, that big thing, as a rectangle instead of a trapezoid, not a big deal. Now, in five, I'm going to help you with it, but you're going to be doing it on your own. So first, I'm going to show you the shapes you got to deal with. You have to deal with this here looks like it's about a rectangle. And remember, rectangles are just length times width. And then this here looks like a triangle. Remember, triangles are half times base times height. So, what I want you to do is you're going to pause this sucker. Find the area of this rectangle, remember length times width, and write that over here. The area of the triangle, half times base times height, write that here. Add those two areas together, and you should get the total area. So, pause the video, give it your best shot, restart it when you're done. Go. Okay, let's see what you did. So, let's start with the rectangle. Now, I'm looking here, I see this dimension is 5, this is 4. So that's 5 by 4, 5 times 4 is 20. So the area of the rectangle is about 20 square inches. Now let's talk about the triangle. So we need half times base times height. So I see the height here is 4. So I'm going to put that there. Oops, I want blue. And I have the half. So I just have to figure out the base. Now this is a little tricky. Because remember, this whole thing is 10, but we don't care about the red part. So if we take 10 and subtract away the red part, which is 4. 10, take away this 4, and I'm left with 6. So half times 6 times 4. Now you could type that in the calculator if you want to be a wuss. But if you know half of 6 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, add those together, 20 plus 12, and you should have 32 square inches for your approximate area. All right, you are done listening to me talk. So here is your remaining job. You are going to do um, number 6, 8, and 10 on your own. I will give you a hint what I would probably do as far as shapes. Um, for the key, I think that looks like a little... Ooh, that was awful. Let me erase that. Okay. I think this looks like a little rectangle and a square. That would be easy. Rectangle, square area. Nice. For the heart, to me it looks like two triangles. Um, so I'd find the area of the two triangles, add them together, and voila. And the ice cream cone actually looks like it's a triangle. And I know that blob of ice cream is a circle, but you can, since you're estimating, you can kind of treat it like a, well, it looks like a rectangle because that's three and that's three and a half. So if you find the area of the rectangle and a triangle, add them together, you should get it. So be ready to hand this sucker in. I will be checking it to make sure you showed your work. All right, if you have any questions, remember them and ask me when I see you later. Bye-bye.